Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again, and welcome back to my series entitled What Makes It Work, and this is Episode 7. Now, if you haven't seen Episode 6, be sure and look at that, because that was on the Chinese windlass, and uh, this one is entitled The Differential Hoist. So I'm going to talk about this chain hoist, sometimes called a chain fall, and more correctly called a differential hoist. Do not confuse this hoist with a regular uh, chain hoist that you might have. I don't believe they make this kind anymore, but uh, most modern hoists have uh, two chains and uh, a gear box in there, or gears, a series of gears, to give you the mechanical advantage. But in the case of the d differential hoist, this is all one piece of chain, one long continuous loop of chain, even though it appears to be two. Whereas in a standard modern hoist, you're going to see that there are uh, two separate pieces of uh, chain. This is a smaller hoist. It has a thousand pound capacity, but it's really just perfect for pulling engines and other garage work. And it has the advantage, as uh, does the Chinese windlass, that once you lift the weight, the weight is not going to fall. The, uh, it's going to stay where you put it. This is a 50 pound weight on the end of the hook and uh, using this spring scale here I can determine how much pressure that it takes or how much weight that it takes to raise that off the ground. So doing that you're going to see that it takes approximately 6 pounds to lift the weight. So that's quite a mechanical advantage, and I'm not going to bore you with any uh, mathematical formulas or equations in this video. Lifting 50 pounds uh, by pulling on the chain with only 6 pounds of force is a ratio of 6 to 50, or reduced to 3 to 25 ratio. So that's a, that's a pretty good deal. But we are trading off distance for, uh, for weight here. That's just my terms, not uh, scientific terms. But to raise this 50 pound weight up uh, just three inches off the ground is going to take a full six foot of motion. And I've got a clamp there. So I will move that clamp clear down to the floor, which is uh, a six foot of motion. Here I go. And that raised the weight uh, three inches off the floor, which I've already pre-measured that. And you can see that the clamp is down there at the floor. Also note that the weight does not tend to want to uh, fall on me. It, it will remain there because this is a differential hoist. And by pulling on the continuous chain, I can raise or lower the weight. or the engine any distance I want and it will remain fixed when I get it where I want it. Similarly, it's very easy to lower. And no electricity or batteries required. I own several hoists and this is really my favorite. I've had it for quite a long while and you can see it's all cast iron and there's two shivs here or pulleys or you might even call them sprockets since this is chain but since it's not roller chain these are um, more or less what you might call pockets in here rather than teeth. Now notice that the two sprockets here are uh, different diameters but not very much. In fact the large one here is uh, uh, six inches in diameter and the smaller one is five and five eighths. Now that's just the difference in diameter of uh, three eighths less for the small one or uh, stated another way if you were doing some uh, formulas or math it's a three sixteenths radius uh, three sixteenths less in radius than, than the larger one. 
So that's where we get the term differential here because we have two sprockets that are uh, different in uh, diameter. We've got a hook here with a swivel as well as down on the other end. And this might be malleable iron rather than cast iron, I'm not really sure. And the brand is Coughing Hoist Company, Danville, Illinois, which is about 150 miles from me. Pulling on this chain will raise it. And you want to make sure you keep your fingers away from it, from those uh, sprockets. This would also work with rope if the pulleys were serrated or uh, manufactured such that there would be no slippage. But chain really is far better. Again, this is one single piece of endless chain. Now, let's go down into the workshop where I have constructed a slightly smaller scale model of this where I can uh, review this with you. If you watched the last video, number six of uh, what makes it work so on the Chinese windlass, you'll recognize my apparatus here and there's the, the drum that I use, so be sure and watch that if you haven't. But uh, here's the same old uh, framework and I have constructed out of things I have in the basement here a differential chain hoist. So look what I did. Using some small sprockets and chain that I had in stock and I don't know where I got them but I've got uh, sprockets of different uh, diameters uh, the large one being 20 tooth and the smaller one being 16 tooth so I'm not sure just uh, what the mathematical formulas because we're not going to do that but those two sprockets are screwed together so they're acting as one and I guess maybe I didn't mention that out in the garage with the the chain hoist that uh, those two uh, sprockets or shivs are one matter of fact they appear to be cast as one so these are screwed together and free to swivel on this 3 8 shaft like so I then spliced the chain with a connector link so it is all one continuous piece of chain and I installed a, a little pulley down here. It has no sprocket on it nor is there any need and a 500 gram weight. And uh, similar to the one in the garage, pulling on this chain raises the weight. And pulling the other way, and notice how the chains cross one another here, but pulling in the other direction, of course, the weight will drop. And in the case of this model here, notice a piece of copper wire right here, raising or pulling the chain 10 inches so that the copper wire down there raises the, the weight about one inch. This is a one inch gauge block. So this is a 10 to 1 ratio. This would be a good science project. And this concludes this video on the differential hoist. Hope you like this. Be sure and watch uh, upcoming episodes here of this uh, feature. And this is Tubal Cain saying so long for now. See you in the next video.